Welcome to part three of lecture one of Fluff Body Aerodynamics. So now let's begin to actually talk about the course material uh, for this for this first lecture. So we'll, today we'll do a uh, start a review of basic fluid mechanics. I'll start with the an overview of what Fluff Body Aerodynamics is. We'll review the fundamental laws related to fluid motion, and then talk about inviscid flow. The key messages that I want you to take away from today's lecture are that Bluff Body Aerodynamics is the re in reference to the study of flow around objects where lift generation is not the primary goal and where significant flow separation occurs. So a perfect example is cars and given that you're in the MNG Auto program the focus in this course will be on automotive aerodynamics. Flows around cars can be treated as incompressible so we don't need to consider thermodynamics only fluid mechanics. And then inviscid flow, which is flow without friction, never really occurs in practice, but is a good way to start understanding the movement of fluids. So high level, what's aerodynamics? Aerodynamics is the study of motion around and the forces acting on objects immersed in a flowing fluid. And the net force acting on such an object can be broken down into lift and drag. So if we have a flow coming in at some object, lift is by definition the force, the component of the net force perpendicular to the incoming flow, and drag is the component of the next net force parallel to the incoming flow. Well, body aerodynamics, um, is the study of aerodynamics where drag is the most important force. Drag fundamentally is caused by friction between the fluid and the object. There's two basic mechanisms for the generation of drag. Skin friction, and this is unavoidable, it's caused by shear stresses at the surface of the, the object as we'll see in more detail later. And pressure drag, which is caused by flow separation, um, and this is the main thing that can sort of be managed uh, in order to try to reduce drag. And a bluff body is one where the pressure drag is the dominant contributor to the overall drag of the object. We're going to talk a lot in a lot more detail later in lecture two about flow separation, but for now I just want to give a high level introduction to the idea. Right, so when we have flow separation, it means that the fluid part particles are not following the contour of, our, the, of the surface of our object. Right, so here we have flow coming out and coming, here's some streamlines coming around this object. And suddenly we see a two points, one on the top, one on the bottom, where the streamlines stop following the shape of the object. And when that happens, that's what we call flow separation. And without getting into any of the technical details yet, but don't worry, we'll get into them later on, uh, this essentially happens when the flow has to slow down too quickly. So now let's talk a little bit about the fundamental laws of governing fluid mechanics. There's two that are relevant to what we're going to do in this course, conservation of mass. All right, the statement of this in the words is that mass cannot be created or destroyed and the conservation of momentum, which is basically just Newton's second law or force equals mass times acceleration when it's applied to a flowing fluid. So in part four, we'll get into the details about the conservation of mass. 